Hello there guys, welcome back to another trade it video and today we're going to be discussing what the best audio settings for your game are. So once you've launched open the game, let's head to the settings menu up here in the top left and scroll across to the audio tab. Now many of the audio settings are personal preference and you can play around with these settings to figure out what works best for you. However, there are some recommended optimal choices that might give you a competitive advantage in some situations. Starting off with the master volume, this is very much your personal preference. Make sure to pick something that isn't too loud as you don't want to cause any damage to your hearing, but you want to make it loud enough that you can hear all the sounds in the game that are required. For the audio device, you either want to leave this on default or select the correct audio device of your choice from the options in the drop down menu. For the EQ profile, the actual optimal setting for this is crisp as it gives you the most clarity and allows you to hear footsteps the best. For the left and right noise isolation, we recommend a setting between 50 and 60. So I'll go ahead and set this 55. For the perspective correction, generally you don't want this turned on and you can see the reason why by looking at the description, but I think it gives a competitive advantage to you to not have this enabled and to have a full clarity of hearing vision uh, in the game. And play audio when the game is in the background is purely personal preference. If you wanna hear the game when you're tabbed out, then turn this on, I prefer not to. And then skipping ahead to the music settings, the main menu volume, is a, a personal preference, I have it set to zero. The round start volume is again personal preference, I have it set to zero. Round action volume is recommended to be around 20%. I like it a little bit lower, so I'm gonna change it to 15. The round end volume is recommended to have about 50%, and that's just so you can hear things at the end of a round. MVP volume, is again personal preference you can have this set to uh, around 50 percent which i know some people have recommended um, so i'll change that the uh, bomb and hostage volume really you want this as high as you can bear i'll set this to 70 percent but 100 percent is pretty optimal for the 10 second warning volume again you want this just as high as the bomb slash hostage volume um, I'll set it to 70, but 100 is pretty much optimal. And for the death camera volume, you want to set this to around about 60%. You want to be able to hear what happens once you die so that you can communicate that to your teammates. In terms of the uh, EQ or the equalization modes, you can kind of set this again to how you want. This allows you to have different uh, EQ profiles for different game modes. I would generally recommend crisp for competitive, but again, personal preference and pick what works best for your ears. If crisp is a bit too harsh or you suffer with tinnitus, then uh, maybe you wanna go for a, a natural setting or a default setting. Uh, in terms of the other audio settings, you wanna set these to values as shown on screen, but basically have it set and play around with these settings so that you're able to communicate effectively to your teammates around you. Um, and that includes probably not being able to hear your own voice. Um, and for some of you, you may want to turn streamlined push to talk on if you find that your mic is cutting off during your games. But that will round out basically all of the audio settings that you'll need for a competitive advantage in CS2. If you've got any questions, feel free to head to Trade It's blog check out our other videos, or if you've got any questions, feel free to put them in the comments down below. But that's gonna be it for today. Thank you for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.